Today's topic is determination of stability constant by pH metry and spectrophotometry. I am Dr. Digna Vargis. Stability constant is used for computing the quantitatively the concentration of free metal ion. It is also used for computing quantitatively the concentration of ligand and it also used for computing quantitatively the concentration of complex formed in the system. So, by the stability constant measurement, we can calculate concentration of free metal ion, concentration of ligand, concentration of complex. Okay. These data are extensively employed in analytical chemistry, stereochemistry, and biochemistry, and in the technology of non ferrous and rare metals solvent extraction, ion exchange, etc. There are so many techniques for the computation of stability constants. Here only two methods are explained, known as pH metric method and the spectrophotometric method. Most of the complexes absorb light differently than the metal ions from which they are formed. So, the light absorption of metal is different from that of the complex okay so there is a relationship between the absorbance or optical density a at a particular wavelength and concentration is expressed by bs law bs law is explained by the equation a is equal to epsilon lc where a is the absorbance or optical density epsilon is the molar extinction coefficient and l is the length of absorption cell and C is the concentration of the complex expressed in moles per liter. So, the complexes absorb light different region. Okay, metal ions absorb light in other region. So, by this method we can measure the concentration of the compound. What is a spectrophotometer? Spectrophotometer or spectrophotometry is widely used for quantitative analysis in various areas. Every chemical compound absorbs, transmits or reflects light over a certain range of wavelength. Spectrophotometry is a measurement of how much a chemical substance absorbs or transmits light. Okay, here a diagrammatic representation of a spectrophotometer. You can see here a light source that is passed through the monochromator and a particular wavelength is absorbed or transmitted by the sample taken in the cuvette and it is detected by the using a detector and finally we will get output. Okay, here you can see a photo of spectrophotometer. The cuvette is placed in the cell to which light is passed. The sample absorbs, transmits or reflects light depending on the nature of the compound or sample taken here over a certain range of wavelength that we will get as a reading or a spectrum. If we measure the absorbance A of BS law with a spectrophotometer, we know the extinction coefficient epsilon at the wavelength and the cell length L, the concentration C can be calculated from the BS law equation. C is equal to a divided by epsilon L. A is obtained from the spectrophotometer reading. Epsilon we know and L is cell length is also we know. Then we can calculate C of the concentration of the compound. Here you can see a spectrum taken by the spectrophotometer. Here you can see a two lines, one is dotted line and the other one is a 
darken line here you can see one darken line is for complex and dotted lines for metal ion the complex it will be seen that the absorption by the complex this line takes place over the entire region of the metal ion here you can see the metal ion absorption one and the complex absorbs at the entire region of the metal ion while at 550 millimicron region the complex absorbs maximum okay here the spectra is given wavelength against molar absorptivity so here you can see the absorptivity of metal ion is different or changes when it combines with the ligand to form a complex so molar absorptivity is a changes by which we can also check whether the complex formation occurs by simply taking a uv visible spectra okay so this is the spectrum of a metal ion and its complex ml2 plus by plotting wavelength against molar absorptivity we will get this type of spectrum the metal ion is different from that of the complex formed its molar absorptivity value is different and also its maximum lambda max maximum absorption wavelength is also different okay but only the case we can see here that the absorption by the complex takes place the entire region of the metal ion absorption we are going to calculate the concentration of the complex or metal ion or concentration of the ligand in order to obtain the value of formation constant that is kf of solutions contain known amounts of total m metal ion and total ligand are equilibrated you can see here a general representation of the formation of complex metal ion reacts with ligand to form a complex the absorptions of these solution the complex solution at 550 millimicron is measured and the value of kf the formation constant can is evaluated so we are actually calculating the value of formation constant for the reaction metal plus ligand giving a complex here you can see the equilibrium constant for this reaction that is actually the formation constant or stability constant that is concentration of complex divided by concentration of metal ion into concentration of ligand equation number one the concentration of metal that is the total concentration of metal it is the sum of the concentration of metal and concentration of metal ion in complex okay that is equation number two total concentration of the ligand that is represented by cl that is the concentration of the ligand plus concentration of ligand in complex that is equation number three according to beer lambert's law that is a is equal to epsilon lc that is the principle of a spectrophotometer we can calculate a uh, is equal to molar absorptivity of a complex into L into com concentration of complex. From this equation, we can calculate the concentration of complex. That is, concentration of ML square ML2 plus is equal to A divided by epsilon of complex into L. That is equation number 4. We can also calculate the concentration of metal. Concentration of metal ion get from equation 2. That is total concentration of metal minus concentration of complex. 
that is given here from equation 4, we will we can write as Cm minus A divided by epsilon of complex into L. Now we can calculate the concentration of lecan. Okay, that is from equation 3, we will get concentration of ligand is equal to total concentration of ligand minus concentration of complex that is A divided by epsilon of complex into L. So, by this Beer's law, we can calculate the concentration of complex, concentration of metal, concentration of ligand. Now, using this concentration value, we can calculate the value of binary formation constant, Kf of the reaction. Okay, so to find Kf, put values of 4, 5 and 6 in equation 1. The constancy of Kf is checked by repeating the measurements at different concentration of metal and concentration of ligand values. So next method is Jobs method that is or method of continuous variation. It is a spectrophotometric method. This method is a variation of the spectrophotometric method and is used to determine the complex composition. This is mainly used for solutions where only one complex is formed. Procedure for this method is First step, make 10 solutions of the complex containing metal ion and ligand in such proportions that the total volume of each solution is 10 ml. This you can see from this table. Total number of solutions is 10 and total volume of each solution is 10. So the first solution number 1 the volume of metal ion 0, volume of ligand 10. Volume in this for the second solution, volume of metal ion 1, volume of ligand 9, total is 10 ml. For solution number 3, volume of metal ion 2, volume of ligand 8 ml. So total is 10. So you can see there are 10 number of solutions, each solution containing a total volume of 10 ml. Second step, determine the optical densities of the solutions as prepared in step 1 with the help of a spectrophotometer. You can see here 10 solutions and each solution having total volume 10 ml. For that, the determination of optical densities of each solution is done with the help of a spectrophotometer. Draw a graph, third step is draw a graph between the mole fraction of the ligand and optical density. Okay, Jobs method is used to determine the composition of a complex. That is why we are drawing a graph, the mole fraction of the ligand against optical density. Mole fraction of the ligand that is concentration of ligand divided by total concentration. Here you can see the table of different solutions having 10 ml volume. So, here the volume of ligand or the concentration of the ligand and the concentration of the metal ion is a constant. That is Cl plus Cm is equal to C where C is a constant. Only the ratios of concentration of ligand and concentration of metal ion is changed. 
Okay. Here a plot that is mole fraction against absorbance. A spectra is obtained. The maximum absorption is here. The legs of the plot are extrapolated. And we will get a point at which the two legs are cross each other and forming a point of intersection. Here th at this point a maximum absorbance occurs. If the complex having the molecular formula MLN then we can write n is equal to cl by cm okay that is equation two equation one can also written as cl by c plus cm by c is equal to c by c equal to one that is equation three with the help of this equation we can write Right, mole fraction as Cl by C. Okay. So, equation 3 reduces as Cl by C changes to mole fraction. Then, mole fraction plus Cm by C is equal to 1. Where Cm by C can be written as 1 minus mole fraction. That is equation number 5. Dividing the equation 4 by Cm by C. Okay. Equation 4 by Cm by C. Then we get N is equal to mol fraction by 1 minus mol fraction. Equation Four divided by equation five, CMC equals CL by C divided by CM by C. That is CL by C is small fraction divided by one minus small fraction. That is actually CL by CM value. That is N. Then we will get the composition of from the value of N. We will get the composition of complex okay by using this equation hence we have to find out the mole fraction of a ligand at maximum absorption from the graph by this we can calculate the composition of the complex so jobs method this method can be used only one complex is formed under the experimental conditions. This method is used when there is no change in the total volume of the solutions containing metal ions and the ligand. Method or pH metric method or germ method. When the ligand is a weak base or acid, competition between hydrogen ions and metal ions for the ligand can be used for the determination of the formation constant. When the ligand is a weak base or acid, there is a competition between the hydrogen ions and metal ions for the ligand for the formation of a complex. Let us consider the equilibria in which an acid and metal ions are added to a basic ligand in solution. This the following equations hold good. Here you can see a basic ligand plus an acid forming HL plus. Here Ka is equal to HL plus divided by concentration of L ligand into concentration of H plus. Another reaction that is basic ligand in solution plus metal ion. There is a competition. If ligand is a weak acid or base, here the ligand is base. 
and there is a competition with acid or metal ion. With metal ion, it forms a complex. And Kf is equal to concentration of metal ion complex divided by concentration of ligand into concentration of metal. So, K is the association constant for the ligand. Kf is the formation constant. Cm and Cl are the total amounts in moles per liter of acid, metal and basic ligand. Then we have equations. CH is equal to that is total concentration of acid in moles per liter is equal to concentration of H plus plus concentration of HL plus. That is equation 3. Concentration of ligand total is equal to concentration of ligand plus concentration of complex plus concentration of acid with ligand that is HL plus. That is equation number 4. Finally, concentration of metal is equal to concentration of metal plus concentration of complex. From these equations, we have concentration of ML plus from equation 4. That is total concentration of ligand minus concentration of ligand minus concentration of HL. From equation concentration of complex is equal to Cm minus concentration of metal ion. That is equation 7. From equation 3, concentration of HL plus is equal to CH minus concentration of H plus. Therefore, we can write ML plus concentration is equal to Cl minus ligand concentration and HL can be written as from equation 8 that is minus CH minus H plus. Therefore, concentration of ML plus is equal to Cl minus concentration of L minus total concentration of hydrogen ion plus concentration of hydrogen ion. That is equation number 9. From this we can write concentration of ligand is equal to for acid association concentration of HL plus divided by Ka into H plus. This is the acid association constant of the ligand. Concentration of ML plus is equal to Cl minus CH plus H plus concentration. Then concentration of ligand is substituted here from equation 10 that is minus HL plus divided by K into H plus. Concentration of metal ion that is Cm minus M plus from equation 7. That is M plus is equal to Cm minus ML plus that is equation 12. So, concentration of ligand that is from equation 10 that is concentration of HL plus. The value of HL plus is from equation 8 we can write as CH minus concentration of H plus divided by K into H plus. That is equation number 13. So, we can find by this potentiometric method the constant, sorry, concentration of complex, concentration of metal and concentration of ligand. Okay. So, these are the methods, spectrophotometric methods and potentiometric methods used to determine the concentration of complex, ligand and metal.